Hey, all my worthy viewers, it's me, JD Reviewmaster, and this is Worth of You Movies. And today I'm bringing to you a movie called Titan, a French movie that won the, the Palme d'Or. And here to talk with me about it is Rob from the Fleming Film Show and Robbie's Reviews. Take it away, Rob. Hello, Justin. Uh, Titan is a film like no other. It is weirdly my favorite foreign movie this year. I'm going to have to give this a uh, Worth of You movie officially. I can't really give too much of this away, but it's really unique, something different. I mean, it's it's definitely in my top five of this year so far, if not top ten. Amazing, you need to see it. Even though it's all in French, it's quick and easy. It's understandable, but you, I can't ruin it for you guys, and I can't wait to hear what you thought of this, JD. Yeah, and to hear what I have to uh, say about this, let's head over to YouTube where we'll continue talking about it. And I'm giving this a WTV, and this is because I will never forget this movie. Um, I'll just read what it says here on IMDb. Following a series of unexplained crimes, a father is reunited with a son who has been missing for 10 years. Titan means a metal highly resistant to heat and corrosion with high tensile strength alloys. So. You forgot one thing. You forgot one thing, which I will say. This is about a girl who fucks cars as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so uh, something happened when she was a kid and she hit her head and now she has this metal plate in her head. And for some reason just becomes like very highly sexualized towards metal things. She even has like this sort of... Uh, lesbian interaction and the girl has a nipple ring and the only thing that she was focused on was that nipple ring because it's metal you know uh so just just right there is all you know strange but yeah then we see her get into a car and it bounces up and down and she's getting off by it and it just is like okay i wonder where this is gonna lead and it leads to something and it pays off and what pays off is just haunting you know something that you just you cannot believe that you're seeing it uh this is directed by julia ducarno fantastic he will probably now be in my top five female directors oh nice yeah i haven't seen raw i heard it's you very see, disturbing you need to see raw is is raw more disturbing or is titan i'd say raw is a good debut movie from her but Titan is so far her masterpiece. Yeah, but is it more? What's more disturbing? Because I know they both have really disturbing, I, you know, storylines. Personally, they're not as disturbing as people make them out to be. But I think Raw is definitely more disturbing in the way that you know Titan's more fictional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I do want to see that. Um, how, how about the performances? How do how do we feel about these performances? The woman, the woman um, is fantastic. I heard this is her debut movie. Uh, the girl, she I, has Agatha Ruth, Ruth movie. She is the girl from Raw, and I'm trying to work this out because both her characters have the same name in both movies. They're both called Justine, so I want to know if they're both the same character. Oh, interesting. Geranas Mary Lear is her name and then also a really good performance by vincent linden he's the, he was good the guy he was he was yeah, very he, good he had really raw emotions i feel and you know it really was believable that you know he lost his son and really wanted his son back um yeah so alexia who's the main who's the main lead here um <laughs> Pretends to be Vincent's son. I mean, she does things to make sure that she's. Um, hang on a second, sorry. Yes, I do agree with you. I do agree with you. That was a good twist, and I like how it happened in the film because after that moment, Justin, it becomes two different films. It feels like you're watching two films, two 45-minute films back to back. After that plot twist, it's really divisive. It's really divisive. And what changes a movie? Not many movies do this, but this is one of the best movies that change the middle. Time like Knives Out. A bit like Knives Out. Now turn your mic back on, dude. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. So this is definitely something that I won't ever forget. This movie, uh, you know, is is definitely just I could not believe what I was watching. 
Um, but I really, really enjoyed it. I think, uh, yeah, this this director has a really solid future. Um, and keep making stuff that makes people just say, what? What? <laughs> um, there's actually a movie called Lamb that's an A24 movie with Numi Rapace that's out. And uh, I really enjoyed that one as well. And I feel like there's similar um, elements to this movie and to that movie. Um, yeah, so, so I'm excited. Out, so I check out Lamb, you check out Raw. Okay, that sounds good. And everybody else out there, check out Titan. It's actually out available to rent. You can rent it on Google or, or Vudu. Uh, it's seven dollars. Definitely worth seven bucks. Um, it's also sitting in theaters, and and it's also uh, eighty-eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes. So it's definitely more than worthy of the view. Um, do you see any Oscar potential with this movie? Oh, I hope it gets a nominee for best foreign language film. I, I feel I like people, I feel like this is more of a cult film than a mainstream film. But I can't yeah. hope it goes with a big cult following. Yeah, and if it won the Palme d'Or, that's that's pretty big. I mean, people are going to pay attention to that and really, um, really look out for that. Well, so movies like Paris, Texas, and Pulp Fiction have won this award, and they're classics. Right. Um, yeah. So this movie, written and directed by Julia DeCorno, um, and go check this out. Anything else you have to say about Titan? Make sure you check it out. Make sure you check it out. All right, guys. You have to watch uh, this from your own eyes. We can't, like, we, words can't really describe how we feel about it. Yeah, I wish I wish that we did spoilers, um, but we don't, because I would love just to dive in on this movie. But um, go check it out and see what we're talking about. Where can they find you, Rob? Check me out on robbiesreviews.co.uk. That's robbiesreviews.co.uk. Check out the Fleming Film Show on my YouTube channel. And also check out my Dune review. Dune was awesome. I still prefer Dune to this film. You prefer Dune to this film? Oh, 100%. Yeah, I love Dune. I love, love, love. Um, have you seen The Last Duel yet? No, not yet. Not yet. And have you seen The French Dispatch yet? No, not yet. But The the Last Duel is one of my favorite movies of this year. It's so no, good. French Dispatch is one of mine. So I love, 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 love Wes Anderson. Okay, well, I I really want to see that the French Dispatch. Um, yeah, so we I, we just did a scream review uh, on Robbie's review, so go check that out in the next episode. Oh, we've got, that's and we've got the horror nominees coming out as well, and the horror nominees, and Benedict Cumberbatch performances. Oh, oh, the Best Picture horror winners. Yeah, so that that's coming out. We have Benedict Cumberbatch pictures coming out because he's gonna be in The Power of the Dog which we both saw, and he's in a movie right now um, with Taika Waititi. Uh, oh, Lou Wayne. Lou Wayne. What is it? The Electrical uh, Life Louis of... Wayne. Yeah. Louis Wayne, yeah, that one. So he's, he's on a tear right now, uh, and those were both fun episodes, and then we will be recording our, our countdown of 22,000. From the, from the 2000s. Yeah, animated them. So that'll be a lot of fun. I still need to see Spirited Away. And I still need to see Happy Feet. Okay, so we'll do that. And until next time, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for joining me, Rob. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time here. Justin, see you soon. Thanks, buddy. We'll see you right here next time at Worth the View Movies. Bye, guys. Worth the View.